Okay. So we think we might have this going now. Starting the left engine. We'll put the pitot heat on while we're at it. And the lights. Do I need any more of those switches? I don't think I do. Right. Flaps are ready. Contact Buffalo Ground. Let's depart to Buffalo the north. Ground, Aaron, Bravo, Tango, Zulu, six, eight, zero, with Bravo. Request taxi for takeoff. North departure. Aaron, Bravo, Tango, Zulu, six, eight, zero. Taxi to and hold short of runway two, three. Taxi Papa two, Papa Quebec Delta Alpha. Contact tower at one two zero point five. When ready. Taxi hold short runway two three. Using taxiway Papa two Papa Quebec Delta Alpha. Marin Bravo Tango Zulu. Papa Quebec Delta Alpha. Papa. Whoop, there is some snow. Delta, which way to Alpha? I'm gonna get us this way. There's some more snow. Nope. Should have gone the other way. No, I'm going the right way. Runway, let's cross two active runways. Wonderful planning. Okay, Alpha. Runways. I feel like my rudder trim is off, but it doesn't look like it is. My elevator trim is a little off, though. I got a little bit of crosswind here. 
We have to actually keep right rudder to keep going straight down this runway. Don't nose up, 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 don't nose up. Okay, start nosing up. Come on. Start coming. There we go. We're in the air, guys. Whoop. What's our objective? We're going to invade Canada. Why? Because why not? While the cameras was like, yeah, fuck it, and I completely lose where my head was. Like that, see? Whoops. That's what happens if you fly without a properly trimmed aircraft. Let's see how we're doing in comparison to the map. World map. There it is. We're about ready to enter in Canadian airspace. Oh boy! Not. Nah. Do we fly all the way to Toronto? Maybe just St. Catharines.
Could land in Grimsby. 1215 and 112 15 X Shift two. Airwave niner 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 zero yard one six miles northeast. Turn right heading two zero five to seven. And now we need to find out what direction we need to fly to get there. I don't know, honestly. Well, that would be thirty three. So let's say approximately 330. Approach. Maintain 2,000 until established on the localizer. Contact Buffalo Tower on 120.5. Turn right heading 205 to send and maintain 2,200. Clear ILS. Runway 23. Approach. Maintain 2,200 until established. Tower on 120.5. Airwave 99990. Three thirty should be close enough. See, crossing into Canada right now. Snow squalls up there. Here's the airport list. We want airports further than me. Assessment 368. Contact Buffalo. Approach on 126.15. 126.15. Hamburg. Baron 680. You're leaving my airspace. Radar service terminated. Squawk 1200. Frequency change approved. Squawk 1200. Frequency change approved. Baron 680. Airway 6762. Contact Toronto Center on 128.275. Toronto approach, Baron, Bravo, Tango, Zulu, 680, this time Baron, 6 miles west of November, Yankee 24, request flight following. Baron, Bravo, Tango, Zulu, 680, Toronto approach, Squawk 6015, Squawk 6015, Baron, 680. Now I'm sorry my transponder is switched. Radar contact, 6 miles southeast of Charlie, Yankee, Sierra, November, 3700. Altimeter 29907. Copy, Baron 680. Going to 128.275, airwave 6762. We could probably lean out our fuel a bit more. I see him. Baron 680, traffic in sight. Why doesn't it ever find my head position when I get back to it? Uh, 
Max. Oh. I forgot which... Which key did that. Control 5? Traffic alert, 10 o'clock, less than 1 mile, 1,300. That's that Skyhawk, report them inside. Yeah. Kids, don't look at your charts and documentation while you're trying to fly without autopilot being turned off. Now, why doesn't it show me what I want to see? That's the next question. One, one, two, one, five. Traffic is 3 o'clock, 3 miles at 11,600, Boeing 737, Fort Demonstrate. 
Let's pull up that map. Two four right is one oh nine three, and the heading is two three six. One oh nine three, two three six. Nav one oh nine three switch my nav beacon and my active. There we go, sixteen nautical miles out. Two, three, six. Head back on straight. Here we go. Unpause it. Outstanding. runway yet. I don't. Whoa, we're 
we're descending a lot faster than I thought we would be. Wait, if we're landing generally to the west, see this one is useful to pull up an uh, airport map. What the fuck? Oh! Oh! We're supposed to be landing on this one. Though I wonder how that's 2-4 right. Where's 2-4 left? Because that's 2-3. There has to be a 2-4 left somewhere. You wouldn't have a right without a left. So we're actually going the wrong way. We should just keep flying straight north. See, this is why it's good to know your airports before you take off. That was a horrible turn. I'm sorry. Thirteen nautical miles out. See, 2 4 plus 90 is 3 3. Good. So we're ha we should be heading exactly perpendicular to the where we want to go. Well, duh, my gauge says that, doesn't it? Whoops. Should be going up, not down. See a Boeing. Still don't see our airport though. there. Kind of looks like that's where the Boeing is going. Eight nautical miles. We're getting there, kids. The fuck is a kid? I don't know. Don't ask me. Okay, he's going up, not down. Can I have them guide me? Request airport direction. Toronto yes, I can. Tower, Baron, Bravo, Tango, Zulu, six eight zero is unfamiliar with the area. Request directions to the airport. Baron six eight zero, airport is two o'clock, eight miles. Two o'clock. Be over there. Is it? Holy shit! Yeah, I completely flew the wrong way. There it is. Horrible, horrible turn. I should be ashamed of myself. There it is. And over there is, uh, is, uh, what the hell's the name of it? The downtown airport, not Pearson. The other one. City Center, that's it. Toronto City Center Airport. Six. I'm gonna head at 
60 right now. This way we run perfectly parallel to the airport. Accidentally hit my throttle. Whoops. Sucks how often I have to recalibrate the view. Here's the airport. Why couldn't I have landed on that runway? That'd be easy. Just drop my wing and go.
bet you have to learn how to read these fucking ground signs. They're so fucking confusing. There we go, guys. We've invaded Canada. Whoops. A little bit of differential brake would have been helpful there, but I don't want to take my hand off the stick.